What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the rotation gesture in SwiftUI. So here we've got a label, nothing too fancy, but if I go ahead and hold option and I try to rotate it, you can see that we can actually rotate this guy here and it's a little tough to do in the simulator, which is why it's a little jumpy here, but uh, we'll take a look at you know how to add this gesture, how to maintain its state, which is the most important part, and you know some, some use cases for your actual real world world application so if that sounds good make sure you start by smashing that like button down below helps out so so much hit subscribe if you're into ios and haven't done so already that all said let's get into the video let's begin by opening up xcode and creating a new project we're going to go ahead and stick with the app template under ios and let's go ahead and call this a rotation effect for our project name make sure your language is swift and both your interface and lifecycle are swift ui go ahead and save the project wherever you'd like i'll toss it onto my desktop and first things first, we're gonna go ahead and close that right panel. We'll expand our Xcode window here, and let's change our preview device to maybe something a little more interesting, like a 12 Pro Max, and I'll hit the resume button to get our uh, preview loaded up here on the right-hand side, so cool. So first, before we look at the rotation gesture itself, we need something to rotate. We can actually just use this label that uh, the template gave us, but I will go ahead and drop it inside of a VStack in a navigation view. And I'll also go ahead and add a navigation title modifier here. So we'll say rotation effect as its title. And uh, we've got this uh, you know, label in here, and this is the thing that we're gonna want to allow uh, the user to rotate. So let's, uh, let's clean it up a little bit. First and foremost, I'm gonna make it uh, bold, and I'm also going to bump up the font size to maybe like 32 or 42. Pick something that works for you. That is way too big, that's not what I wanted, 32. So now we can actually see uh, this a little better. So first and foremost, how do we add the rotation effect? Well, we need to add uh, the rotation effect modifier. And by default, we want it to have a, uh, you know, a rotation of zero, but we're gonna want to modify the property of, in terms of how much rotation there is via our gesture. So we're gonna actually create a state property up here. So I'm gonna say current angle, which is going to be of type angle. And this is going to be by default degrees of zero. So this angle will be zero degrees. And we should be able to go ahead and simply pass this in like that. And if we go ahead and uh, just actually make this like maybe 90, you'll see what the rotation effect actually does. Let me go ahead and hit resume in the right hand side. And once Xcode decides to cooperate, you'll see our uh, rotation there is 90 degrees, but we wanna be able to use a gesture to do that. So let's bring that back to zero, which is our starting position. And we're back at square one. So cool, the next thing we wanna add uh, is a gesture modifier. And there's a couple of ways you can go about doing this. Uh, we're gonna do it uh, like this. Let's go ahead and bring those back. And we're gonna create a uh, rotation gesture, but we're gonna try to spell it correctly. There it goes. And on the rotation gesture, we wanna have um, two more properties, two more modifiers. One of them is on uh, changed, and it looks like autocomplete gives it to us. And this gives us the angle as a inbound uh, parameter, and we can get rid of these parentheses to make our code a little cleaner. And then we also want uh, on ended. So I'm gonna copy and paste, and let's see if I can get away with just doing that. And looks like I can. So this one also gives us an angle, not an angel. And let's talk about each of these. So unchanged is basically the block that's gonna fire as the user goes ahead and uh, you know rotates with two fingers. And on ended is when the user picks up their two fingers and the entire rotation ends. So let's go ahead and just do the unchanged first. This one's pretty simple. So I'm gonna take current angle. And we're gonna assign this to be our uh, inbound parameter for this angle. So let's go ahead and see what this gives us. So I'm gonna hit the play button in our preview and you can actually hold option and tap. Let's see if that's gonna actually work. There it goes. And it looks like we can actually do that and we can rotate it. So it's kind of a pain to do here on the, uh, on the simulator or on the preview. Let's also go ahead and add a background color to this so we can actually see 
where our uh, label is to make sure we are grabbing it correctly. But you can see that we're definitely able to go ahead and uh, rotate it, but there is one problem. So if I go ahead and uh, grab it here, let's grab it right here. Let's see if I can do it. There it goes. Okay, so we could definitely rotate it, but you see that there's an issue. Uh, once I let go of it, it actually snaps back. So something's a little weird. So basically what we want to do on uh, on ended because this rotation is correct, but when we start doing this again, it's going to uh, basically start the rotation from the zero angle starting point. So we want another state in here, and this one I'm going to go ahead and say is our uh, final angle final angle and final angle will also be zero by default and inside of this we're going to say take current angle and add in the final angle and once our uh, on ended uh, occurs here we can go ahead and say our final angle is angle and we can take our current angle and uh, assign that to be zero which uh, in reality should be degrees of zero and what this will basically let us do now, if we resume this again, is if we subsequently rotate the view, it's going to start at the current position instead of zero. So if I go ahead and grab this here, sometimes this rotation nonsense is kind of a pain. There it goes. Uh, but you can see we can rotate it, and it actually also allows us to rotate continuously. It's a little uh, difficult to do here in the preview, but this is actually, if you've ever used like uh, stickers and Snapchat stories or Instagram, this is a good way to replicate, you know, like scaling up like a piece of text on top of like a photo or video. So um, you can definitely use this effect to achieve that. Now, there's a lot of other gestures out there. We're gonna be doing many videos on those. So if you found this video useful or interesting, definitely don't forget to destroy that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Hit subscribe while you're at it if you're into iOS and haven't done so already. And let me know in the comments, are you using Swift UI? What do you think of the gestures? And let me know if you have any video suggestions. Always love hearing from you guys. So thanks again for watching. I'll see y'all on the next one.